the Community Preservation Committee meeting for February 14th, 2019 to order. And as required by open meeting law, hereby informing you that the town will be video and audio taping as well as live broadcasting this public meeting. Um, at this point in time, you usually ask for public comment. Since there's no public, we'll move on to the next item, <laughs> which is the uh, approval, review and approval of the uh, meeting minutes. Uh, December 13th, did everyone receive the minutes? Yes. yes. Yeah. Did everyone receive the changes that were made to the minutes? Yes. yes. Okay. May I have a motion? Move to approve the amended minutes from uh, December. December 13th, 2018. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Moving on to the minutes of January 10th, 2019. May I have a motion? I move to approve the minutes of January 10th, 2019. Is there a second? Second. Second. This. Any discussion about the minutes January 10th, 2019? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. So approved, unanimous. Regarding the minutes of January 17th, 2019, do you have a motion? I move that we accept the minutes for uh, Thursday, um, January 17th, 2019. A second? Second. Andy? Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Okay, I'd like to review the warrant articles. Unfortunately, we do not have them in front of us. So, um, I guess we're just gonna have to. Can you just review for me the process here with the warrant articles? Okay, well, after we made our recommendations, right. um, the warrant articles were drafted by the finance director mm -hmm. and Dave reviewed them. And then usually we take a look at them before they go on to the Board of Selectmen. Um, usually the Board of Selectmen take a look at them, legal counsel looks at them, finance committee looks at them, and then they're produced in the you know, town warrant you know, book and they go to town meeting. So we usually look at them like one more time to make sure that everything that we had wanted was included in them. Like for example, the uh, different, uh, I don't know what we call them, steps that we put in regarding the Brooks Academy right. Museum. Right. Right. Yeah. And they were in there, I did see that. Mm -hmm. um, and then so which you, funds they come from, you know, that kind of thing. You saw a version of the written one? Yes. Oh, yes. so you reviewed them. I loosely reviewed them, but I don't, I was not given them, I, you know. What's the schedule for that, for them going to the printer? I don't believe they go to press until first week in April, maybe. Right. Oh. But, um. So on the off chance that somebody spotted something wrong, there's a fair amount of time to uh, deal with that. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. I believe we, we could address them. I also don't think it's, it's a real problem if we don't address them again because there are other eyes that are going to, that are right. going to look at them. Oh. Uh, well, as long as other opportunities to change it. As long as everything that we had wanted was is included. Right. Like last year, we had a number of things that we that were very particular um, in terms of funding and making sure that they were uh, <coughs> like the uh, housing coordinator mm -hmm. and then some of the things for the Hinkley's Pond remediation regarding public access. We wanted to make sure those were all in there. You know, so and like for example, the um, just to make sure the numbers are correct, the Chronicle wrote the housing trust different than what we voted. We had voted 310 and yes. 30, and they, um, in the article, put 340, uh, 340 for the housing coordinator. So right. things like that, right. sure administration right. um, didn't make a change. So since we don't have the warrant articles, and I 
think they'll have moved on by the time we have our March meeting. Um, if it's okay with all of you, we'll leave it to Dave and myself to make sure we've reviewed them and that they reflect what the committee wanted. So would you like a motion for that? Yeah, that would be great. Okay, I move to uh, authorize uh, the chair and the vice chair to review the draft warrant articles uh, to ensure that they are drafted in accordance with our um, previous committee votes. Is there a second? Is everybody comfortable with that? Well, just is there a second to the motion? That's I'll all I'm asking. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. second. Okay, I'll we can have discussion now about that, Chris. No, I sensed that there was maybe some discussion necessary. I don't yeah. actually. I'm not. I don't need to discuss. Oh, okay. I would just like to request the chair and the vice chair to share the warrant articles with us once you have them. Yeah. Of I'd course. Like I mean, I'm not expecting to have have any comments about it. I just like sure. to have them for my own sure. record. So noted. I mean, Bob? Can they be emailed to us? Is that allowed? I don't know. I will find out for you, though. Yeah. Well, the alternative, right, would be for someone to make hard copies and leave them here mm -hmm. for us to pick yeah. up. I will find out. The All right. The thing would be adequate for me. Yeah. I think. Yes, Chris. I think if we were going to review them, it might be tough to review them like in this setting because we probably end up reading them too fast. And so yeah, right. whether we're going to review them or not, if, uh, if we are going to review them as opposed to you and Dave only, which is okay by me, but if the rest of us are going to review them, I would prefer to get them emailed rather than walk in and have them sure. read, you know, some evening. All right, well, I'll, I'll check on that and I'll follow up and I'll let you know, all right? I second the motion anyway, so okay. nobody second. Any other discussion on this motion? No comment. <clears throat> Hearing none, uh, all in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 Any opposition? Any abstentions? No, approved. Okay, sorry about that. All right, moving on. The update from the subcommittee drafting the town meeting informational flyer. Okay, the <laughs> subcommittee <laughs> is... Chris and myself, we've met a couple of times, and we have um, like a draft for you. Um, uh, so in a way, it's good that some of you are new because this will be great that you'll be looking at it from a layman's sort of point of view. Now, mind you, this is just a draft. Thank you. Uh, Thanks. Think of it on glossy paper <laughs> with great print, <laughs> and we're going to try to put some pictures in there. Um, I would, uh, my suggestion would be you review it for content only as yeah. opposed to <laughs> But what we tried to do was try to uh, include a lot of the stuff that we had talked about uh, that we wanted the public to know. One of the things that's in here is public hearing, and we haven't discussed that yet. This is just something that we're thinking about, um, if we want to include something specific or not. I think this is great. I, um, I would almost put that public hearing, if you're going to do a trifold, I'd put the public hearing date up front here as well just so that it's the first thing they see as opposed to having it be buried, stay there. But I'd almost highlight it on the, on the front. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to get confused. No, I understand that. Um, but I wonder if there's a way to, to highlight that on the well, front or on the back. We were hoping, well, we've got a whole extra page there, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, OK. Um, One idea was to uh, get several, as you can see, get several photos in here of projects that have been funded. Make yep. it a little more real. We thought we'd get the library. I'm sure they took pictures during the uh, 
restoration with scaffolding and stuff. I thought that would be a good picture. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe Muddy Creek as an open space um, project, maybe something from recreation. Um, and it'd be great if we could get like something from a, uh, some housing project, you know, to hit all the areas. Mm -hmm. We included the taxpayers' bill because I thought it would be really, you know, if we could highlight it the right way that people could see where the CPA allocation was on yeah. their tax bill. Because people don't necessarily notice no, it. No, it's, it's good. Um, one thing we can talk about is whether we want to make this more generic. So we, we drew this up for this current year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if we wanted to make it more generic, then we wouldn't put the calendar in, so to speak, and we wouldn't put the public hearing in. So silly suggestion, but if you did a generic one but left space, for the annual public hearing, you could have something that's generic that might last us for a couple of years. Yeah, with but, some projects but we'd have to change the calendar too. I'm just saying, <coughs> if I yeah. can make it more generic. I'm just wanting wanting to know how everybody felt about that. I can easily make it the calendar generic. You know, well, what we're trying to do is get more information out there. Mm -hmm. As you know, everybody keeps saying they don't have enough information. They don't know when they're supposed to put things in. They don't know this. They don't know that. So. You know, if you're just somebody who comes to town meeting and you get this, mm -hmm. does it answer enough of those questions? Chris? My uh, initial thought is, is focus on the year, um, particularly if it ends up being a relatively inexpensive piece because you might want to repeat it every year mm -hmm. and make changes to it as we go along. Mm -hmm. Question? Bob? On the calendar, does the dates actually stay the same <coughs> if you left the year off are those dates always solid yeah we could easily leave the dates off i mean the year off yeah yeah the year yeah, yeah. um because it's october you know yeah. is october 1st always the application deadline um Every october year? 1st is yeah so i mean I yeah. think unless it's this. unless it falls on a weekend right um yes or we vote to move it like we did this right. year okay. right um just yeah. comment i I strongly feel like, I mean, this looks great as you guys did a really nice thing in a really short time. And I think, I really think we ought to think about this as a dynamic document that should be updated at least annually. And you could have a generic calendar and where the dates aren't exact, you give a month or something, but still, I mean, every year the projects are going to be different, and you don't want that stuff to get old either. Mm -hmm. So, I, True. I think yeah. that I think good point. it would be good to think yeah. of it yeah. as. as um, a regarding year. the calendar, just just as a note, um, uh, I sort of we do have October first as our deadline for applications. Unfortunately, we've tried to encourage applicants <coughs> to submit any time before mm. that, but no one does. And that's why I tried to put that in here, trying to put a stake in the ground saying, you know, that as of July 1st, we'd have the applications online and they'd be ready, and that we would accept applications. Trying to encourage people to bring them in, you know, and if there's <coughs> issues, we can work on them beforehand, before the deadline. I really like that, because yeah. at least it highlights the fact that it's available, so come in now. But if, is there a way to like create a real, a strong incentive for people to start earlier? Like, you know, s having a June meeting where people are invited to come in and propose next year's. Well, that's, well, the public hearing that we have is to get people's input, the community's input on what they see as the wants and needs of the community to be, you know, for the use of CPA funds, um, not for specific projects. Unfortunately, that's what always happens. We get specific <laughs> projects. But that is a place where we can encourage people, if you're going to 
you know, submit an application to do it earlier than later. Bob? The other thing would be, instead of the July 1st or October 1st, make it say July 1st application or, or the start of accepting applications or something so it's very clear. So people would see July 1st, oh, now I have to put my application, almost kind of force them into doing it. Mary? The only thing that's hard with, from a practical standpoint for applicants that were successful this year, many of them won't get any of their monies until July 1st. Some of them won't really have gotten into their projects until mid-September to see if they need a round two or, you know, maybe maybe a revetment needed needed more work than they originally anticipated and they're coming in for additional funding, kind of like the library had to. Right. Some of them will, if they were funded um, with estimated revenues, then the, that money's not available till, till July 1st. So for some of those kind of ongoing projects or things that might be ongoing, they might not know exactly what that new money brought them. Chris? On the other hand, I know of at least one person who wanted to submit an application for funding this year and missed the deadline. So probably eager to get in early. Mm -hmm. You can always say first, first submitted, first funded. <laughs> <laughs> you really want them early. Uh, Kathy? Yes. It might be worthwhile to include in, in the brochure here that our meetings are televised and can be watched oh, on good Channel point. 18. Oh, good, good, good point. Yeah. Very good point, Randy. Yeah, that is a good idea. For your viewing pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> so also the uh, Channel 18 does interviews of people in town, town officials, and I think it would be a really good idea for you or Dave to Dave, do one of those. <laughs> <laughs> that would it's be a great idea suggestion. for Dave. <laughs> I'll mention it to him. You could tag team. Yeah. It's a good idea. Yeah. It is a good idea. Particularly, maybe not now, but in right after town meeting or in June when, when, Leading up to the when it's time to start right. really encouraging people to mm -hmm. think about things and get it out there. And I don't know if this could also be a tool to get a headline in the local newspapers. This brochure, if they, you know, maybe mailed out to the newspapers or whatever, right. somehow grab the newspaper. <clears throat> so we thought our time frame, you know, we thought we'd bring it to you guys now. We could discuss it in March, but we're gonna probably need the month of April to get it approved, initially approved by the Board of Selectmen, right. and then printed. So that's why we brought it, we, we you know, did it as quickly as we could. So let's just quick look at the front page. Um, are you all in favor of using the town seal? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mary, do I have to get permission for that? I think because it's a town committee and the selectmen are going to approve it anyway. Okay. Uh, and he is in charge, technically in charge of the seal, but mm -hmm. it's a, an official document. Okay. So I can run that by okay. her and send you guys an email. Right. So does anybody have any other suggestions for the cover? Okay. I like it. All right, let's talk about the public hearing then. I know we talked about as a committee having the public hearing earlier this year. Um, we're not going to make this decision tonight without Dave here, but um, I know we talked about having it initially right after town meeting mm -hmm. where we would sort of try to get momentum going. Um, so do you think that this is the place to include, like is the brochure the place to include the actual date or not? Chris? I, I would say definitely yes. I think it's a big uh, objective of whatever the piece is to get the date in. And I like, for what it's worth, I haven't been here that long, but I like June better than later. And summer's tough, people are busy. Yeah. September, you know, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late, really. So yeah. June's good. 
Well, we're trying to be more proactive, so that is something that I think we could try this year. Mary. And if you are, I, I think you can reiterate on however the trifold is on whatever the back page is, mm -hmm. public hearing, if you're not, you know, leave it off the front page, but you can highlight it on the back. Okay, that's a good point. Just so that it's someplace that if they don't open it, right. they're still going to see it. Good point. Good point. Um, John. Is, is there contact information here? Is there a, an email? Um, give Dave's email? Or is uh, I actually email? said go to the town of Harwich website and look up our committee. And I believe we do have an email address right. for mm -hmm. on the on that website. Okay. I did not want to mention anyone's personal yeah. emails, but John, if you'd like to be the contact person, <laughs> <laughs> it'll all just go in my spam folder. Right. Anyway, so. um, hey, Kathy. Yes. Maybe a question for Mary. Um, it might be a goofy question, but does the town um, ever do? mass volume uh, calls to all of the residents, at least the year-round residents? Because I'm, I'm just thinking, you know, a week or so in advance of the public meeting, public you know, meeting would be a good thing to just blast that out to everybody. I don't, I can't remember whether I've ever got a call from Harwich or The know, only robocalls I've ever, I've ever received were water department for water main breaks right. and, yeah. you know, police and fire on emergency, right. on emergency situations. <laughs> I'm not sure whether um, whether we do them yeah. otherwise. Yeah. Um, might be able to look into putting something into the into the water bills or the tax bills. I'm not sure whether I believe there's you might need a contractor to do that. I'm not mm. sure. Yeah. Yeah, yes. I, I, I would have a problem with that because if every committee started mm. wanting to send out for every public hearing, you know, that'd be pretty onerous and mm -hmm. yeah. more of an irritant, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, I think this is an initial start for us, okay? We're trying to do something we haven't done before. We're trying to give them an informational brochure. We're going to inform them of all the dates that they need to know. We're moving the public hearing up, hopefully, and we'll see what kind of response we get. And then we can evaluate and, you know, decide from there. Mary? And I really just think this is fantastic to have for a town meeting. You will have a group of people that are there and available. And there's also town election two weeks afterwards. Right. So, you know, there's no reason you can't leave some at the community center. So people will be in and out. Good point. Um, so, you know, I don't know. Sometimes at, at elections, the high school are doing surveys. Mm. I don't know if um, if any of those teachers have any interest mm. in kind of mm. CPA issues, but um, you know that's two weeks afterwards, and again, another opportunity to get people coming in and out of the building um, and highlight it by having a staff there or handing them. Does anybody have any color preferences <laughs> when we get to that? Green. Probably. Yeah. The town colors, so to speak. Conservation does so many field guides and they they, they kind of have a standard look. I don't know mm. if we'd want to limit the standard look. I don't know. I haven't seen them. So. Down next to our office is okay, a, a bunch of them. All right. So any other comments? No. You like it? Very much Love so. it. Yeah. Good job, Chris. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, good. Well, this is a good start, and I'll try to incorporate some of the things that you all mentioned, um, and obviously bring this to uh, Dave, and then um, maybe look into some kind of a printing situation mm -hmm. um, where we can get a more professional-looking um, thing in front of us rather than me cutting and pasting. I wonder right. if the tech school has does them. I don't know. They might have a printing. I don't know whether they have a printing, but. Yeah, I was going to ask around. OK, great. Anything else on the flyer? OK. Under old business, the community preservation plan <laughs> discussion to, to be continued. Um, actually, Chris and I were discussing it the other day. And actually, Chris had a great idea, I thought. 
Chris, do you want to share that? Uh, well, great might be a little strong, but I had an <laughs> idea, um, which was just to try to get the conversation moved forward in some way would be to um, for somebody to uh, somebody like John to volunteer <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> to to do a uh, to draft up like an outline. So if we were to do such a plan, what would it look like? What what would it consist of? What would the um, parts of the plan be? Now mm -hmm. it sounds like there's some precedence from a couple of departments, uh, or a, rather a couple of committees, uh, town committees already, mm -hmm. and possibly from some other towns. I yep. think you said, it's been said in the past that we had access mm -hmm. to those. So there's enough precedence out there so that we could probably look through those and draft up at least an outline to get going. And if we had an outline we could work with, then not to speak for everybody on the committee, but maybe there's a way to divide up responsibilities and everybody take a piece of it or something like that. Now I'm really, you know, hanging out there. But yeah. that's, that was the idea. I don't think an outline is a bad idea. I don't either. Uh, I think if we did an outline, we could see how much, uh, how much material we already had and then what we, where we would be lacking and what we would need to do to, you know, change that. Um, so just, 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 just think about it. We're not going to make any decisions tonight, but Mary? If I remember correctly, was Truro the one that, that we originally focused on yeah. last year? We have Truro and I think we have East Ham. I forget which one. We definitely had Truro. We may have had Wellfleet, I, Wellfleet or East Ham. We had one of the, one or the other. One was better. One was better than the other. Yeah. And I think Truro, I, I seem to recall thinking yeah, Truro was, a, was, couple a, of them here. was a good version, uh, at least as far as other communities were concerned. Um, Can you point to us where these documents are? Because I, are they, or does yeah, someone do you, have them? They can put them in an email and send them around to. Um, Jan, did you get any, did we get any extra copies of those? No? Okay. Um, I have all the copies Mary gave me. Chatham? No. Dennis? Dennis. Dennis. But I didn't get the plan. Well, I did Brewster, and Brewster doesn't have a plan, so I if just presented. If you look at the Truro website, they prob their CPC committee, I oh, think, okay. has a, they have it up and running. And what was the other town? Um, I remember oh. there were two discussed. And I remember yeah. I'm just trying to look. Oh, I don't have that in here. Well, it might have been that. I think it was that East. It was mean. East. We have some stuff from East Ham, too. And maybe that was the second one. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I don't know if you were seriously volunteering. I wasn't. But I'm happy to have a no. hack at it. It's just, I would be starting from like, yeah, really ground zero. That's not the. As not with most of us, probably. I, I have um, some East Ham stuff here and some Truro stuff here. Uh, well, if you want to take a look at but it. I, but also, <laughs> what are the committees, Mary, if you know, that did them in house? Because that would be very valuable. So, they, it, they were really staff documents, uh, but they were, we have an, a, um, a housing production plan that was put together that the Board of Selectmen has adopted, and we have a um, open space, an open space and, and recreation, recreation plan that was put together by staff that was approved by the Board of Selectmen. So those two pieces are in place. What I don't think we have anything updated on is any historic preservation plan, no. um, which, um, you know, from the historic side, we should probably think about working on, right? But at least for those, the housing production plan has goals in it. The um, open space and recreation plan probably has some goals in it. So if you took a glance at those and what the, the higher points in it are, you would see what kind of the Board of Selectmen and the town has adopted as as goals like for affordable housing it was it was increasing our capital a affordable housing and increasing worker um, workforce housing um, so those kinds of things would be in there which could help us kind of with our housing end on our on our goals for a cpa plan um, if you let those kind of 
help inform you in, in drafting a plan. So I would, I would volunteer to take those papers, scan them, and email the documents to everybody so everybody has an electronic. I have a simple scanner. I would be happy to do that. Well, what I have here is the town of East Ham's actual plan. Okay, for 2015 to 19. And then some additional information on how they went about uh, preparing for their plan, because I think they hired somebody. So if you want to take this stuff and look at it. Sure, I'll um, scan it and share the documents. Other people can look at them. I'm yeah, I mean, we might not need all of this. This is all on East Ham. Okay, well, that's all we're going to talk about for the plan for today. <laughs> all right. All right. Tight chip, uh, Kathy. Huh? Tight chip. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, next, is there anything else that anybody has? Um, okay, next meeting's agenda points would be the semi-annual reports. Uh, Jan has already sent out notifications to the project managers. They'll be presenting a quick, you know, status uh, of their project. This is anyone that has um, uh, a project that has a, a balance, a, a remaining balance. So the project hasn't been completed. So that's basically the same group that was that did that last time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We're hoping for some progress. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that would be it. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, I didn't 630. quite make the 20.